update. Uh, okay. Date has not updated. Those are not. But <laughs> I I might need to turn the costumes off. <laughs> They're making me laugh too hard. Uh but Talison Jaffe's uh, like edgelord voice uh coming out with a with the blush definitely makes it so much better. Let's see your papers. Checks out. This tunnel over here connects to the castle. It should put you inside the villa. Ugh. your step boy there are giant crocodiles in those waters crocodiles a croc's favorite meal is witches <laughs> all right onward and inward everyone but mogilu tread carefully <laughs> some assassins crew we are i love how everybody's just dunking on mogilu it's the best the Bloodwings are a serious organization. I'm impressed that they know about this entrance. And they have agents on the inside to facilitate this little operation, too. They must have branches working all over the Empire. They've probably even figured out how to get cats and dogs working for them. Here's a juicy morsel about them. They make sure even their corpses go to good use. They what? Long ago, one of their agents stole into the castle. When the guards discovered him, they chased him to this very passage. He dove into the water to escape, and then... Crunch! Ah! A crocodile devoured him in one massive bite! All that remained was his arm, bobbing to the surface. From this, two important facts were learned. What were they? First, they learned of the existence of this passage. Second, they could serve crocodile meat in town. Crocodile meat rubbed with human blood becomes tender and succulent. Perfect for Mavo curry. Then I ate... <laughs> if it's so tasty, I'll have to try it. Rubbed with the blood of a lying witch. That would hit the spot, I think. And it wouldn't even affect our combat strength. Hey, the kid's a wreck. It was just a joke to help calm him down. It was a joke? Yeah, I totally made up that part about the crocodile. Mabo curry is actually made from man-eating catfish who- <laughs> <laughs> Yeet! Let's keep moving. Right. I'll get you for this, witch killers! Amazing! 10 out of 10. Okay, so I have to... Hello. Hey, according to the drawings I saw, you'll need to go through some tight passages to get to the villa. With a figure like that, you might get stuck. Oh no! Oh oh no! All right. That lowers the water. Hey, All right. look! The water level dropped. You don't think there are any alligators down there, do you? Wait. Just making sure... Okay. They got sassy because it's funny. Always ready to fight! Hold it Crash through! Hold it I, the AI is definitely better at blocking and dodging than I am. I'm kind of embarrassed. Not as good as uh, attacking their weak points. I'll 
won't cut down anyone in my way. Don't get ahead of yourself. But I'm this close. I won't miss. Form zero. Thunder. Tremble. Black step. No escape. It's a tremble. It's a crack. Let's go. Let's go. No escape. Pull out. No escape. Tremble. Black step. Wind lash. Come. Who wants some next? Okay, maybe we can light so most of our moves. If you want to live, get out of my way. Here I come. Okay, light and earth. Victory is ours. They're supposed to be protecting the people from demons, but there are demons right under their noses. Abby security is certainly lacking here. The whole point of building those massive walls around the city is to keep people safe inside. But if there's a demon outbreak on the inside, those same walls will make it harder for everyone to escape. The palace covers a lot of ground, so there are tons of hiding places. It wouldn't be hard for a demon to slip in through the waterway. I'm sure the Abbey is aware of that. Perhaps it's a trap made to lure intruders in. What? They lure demons in and then ignore them? Something doesn't add up. I know, right? I do remember when I was playing Fantasy Star Online. I think that was... Yeah, that was... I, I got my, my first girlfriend in <laughs> Fantasy Star Online, and I realized how, like, lame that sounds. Uh, but there are so many fond memories of that. I never got to uh, got to the late game content, but I had so much fun just sticking around. I I think the servers are actually still running. I might be able to stream it sometime. I'll see if I can remember my old account info. But then again, it's also uh probably not very good for scream streaming because it's a little bit grindy. I wish I had power like that. I forget about it if I Oh, there's absolutely private servers for Family Star Online. It's 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 not even a question. That being said, I don't think my old guild still plays it. Uh I forget what we were called. Come on, really? Can I get around you? No, you have tracking. Looks like you wanna die. I believe I, I I tried to do the gunner class or whatever it was. I think it was like rogue and then into gunner because they had like a a prestige system or something. I think I'm remembering that correctly. And then the uh, they had the uh, classic MMO um. Uh, crabs, at uh, level 5 crabs, and then the, uh, level 20 crabs that are painted blue. <laughs> so...
Oh, okay, there's branching paths. Yeah, different col colors means more powerful. And I remember, um, there was, ooh, chest. Uh, there was uh, the first area, which was your classic, like, fantasy plains area. And then you went into a little mountain area that was slightly different from the fantasy plains area. And then into the desert that kind of looked like uh, the area outside of Orgrimmar. Uh. I miss that game. Never check down here, though. There might actually be things of value. Or just orbs. Legend of Dragoon. I'm, I'm actually not familiar with Legend of Dragoon. Tell me more. Oh, here's some more enemies. It's a shame you can't catch multiple enemies in a limit break. So many of them. PS1 game, JRPG, unique turn-based combat system that utilized quick time events for extra damage. Had you travel through the land in search of your childhood friend who was kidnapped, then you get involved in old legends and stories of dragoons who wielded the power of dragons. Don't waste my time. Had a lot of style and personality. Yeah, that sounds like a very interesting game. Oh, Fiji, you got, you got your loot? Very nice. DDO goes up to level 20, right? Or does it go higher than that? Oh, it goes up to 32? All right. Speed. Uh, I give it a shot if you use a PSX emulator. Um, honestly, I was thinking of trying to emulate Metal Gear and play those games because I've never played them. I've only played a little bit of uh, Metal Gear Solid 5. Maybe I overdid it. Um, one of the longest games of the PSX's lifetime. Four discs long! Wow. That's interesting. Uh, 
I might consider playing it on stream, but I'm already currently playing a JRPG, and and I'd, I'd rather not play two at the same time. We're finished here. Let's go. Just because it, it'd get me confused. Oh god, I have to kite them. I grow one. Okay. I'll finish this quick. No, it's quick. That doesn't even move. Stop you. First aid. Quickness. Yeah, I'm probably not going to play the the um Atari vi game. I think it was. I'm definitely not going to play the first ever Metal Gear game, but I'm probably going to start with like the uh the 3D ones. Story with the Metal Gear Solid for the PS1. I think that's where you start. Funny thing about the game is that there's two different prints of the game. One with black and white discard, and the other with colored discard. You still have no idea what the difference was. Probably was no difference. It was probably just a production thing. Oh right, forgot about the ship. Take a look at this. Level up. Let's batch you. Scout ship setting sail. I have no confidence in your ability. Yeah, it, honestly, it was probably just a reprint. Games. Uh, there have been games that have done that in the past. It's not an acknowledgement, but it's just a thing. <sighs> but yeah, I'll probably be adding uh, Metal Gear Solid to the stream rotation. I don't know when we'll be able to get back to the um, to the monkey game. It depends on when Vlad's available because I was going to do it with him, or I could just do it with random. Uh, random like streamers and do it as a collab. I'd forget about it if but I, I feel like it would be different if I if I cut Vlad out, and I, I really don't want to do that because he's 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 a cool guy. Like, it just doesn't feel right. Verbana. I knew it was I knew it was worth it to come this way. I, I, me and Vlad were having so much fun doing the, uh, doing the monkey game. He just got busy. I don't think he's actually streamed very often since, um, uh, since then. But I, I think it's just, like, his IRL stuff getting in the way. That said, um, what what else would you guys like me to play? Because I'll def I'll definitely try and see if I can pick it up. If it's not already in my game library that I have to work through, I was originally going to like start uh start the stream by like working through my backlog, quote unquote, but um. It did not work out that way. Battle Brothers or Wrath of the Righteous? It, I'll consider it, but uh, Battle Brothers also does take a lot to. Oh, warp? Hello? Um. Uh, weak to wind.
Do I have wind? Swallow dance. And what else was it? Crustacean and fiend. I have crustacean. A gouging spin. And then I think it was shell splitter. And then that was it. Yeah, Wrath of the Righteous I'm probably going to pass on doing as a stream game just because it's... I don't, I, I, I don't know. I feel like that kind of cheapens the experience for the people who do want to play it for themselves. And it just doesn't feel right to me. Oh, so this one's just annoying. I see. But, all things considered, I do want to play Wrath of the Righteous at some point, but... It's, it's finding the time for things is, is the problem right now. Because I'm also doing a, um... I, I, I've also been uh, trying to work on a little, a little indie game jam project, uh... That for like a uh, something that Notepad is doing. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember who Notepad is. Uh, friend of the stream, shall we say? Uh, and that's that's been eating a lot of my time along with other things relating to dead tree oh god i i have nothing left it was a close one but i am the victor Needless to say, uh, d just know that uh, Dead Tree might be coming out with a, a fun, a fun little uh, card game soon. I can't say how soon, but uh, it, it's looking pretty good. It's a game about greed and whales. Um. Battle Brothers might be something that I play, but I, I, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not quite sure about that. Wait, don't want to forget. Switch to auto. Just because it, it looks really fun. Uh, I'll get back to Dwarf Fortress eventually. I just, I just want to have a little bit more. Um, how do I put this? A little bit more production value behind it. I don't know. If you want to live, I might just go straight way. into it. That might be tomorrow's stream. I haven't quite decided yet. And then we'll return to turn to Red Abbey. You guys remember Red Abbey, right? Were you guys were you guys not uh, part of the group that was watching that?
one of the problems with doing uh we need to get through oh. here while it's still nighttime. The perfect place for prognostication. Eeny teeny spiny crow. Which way, which way shall we go? Mogilu. Oh, verily the icy glare of death. Boy, which way do you think is best? I. <laughs> uh. There must be a way up somewhere. Let's find it. <laughs> uh. Oh! Oh shit! I forgot to update the ticker. It's been as the wrong game this entire time. I apologize profusely for anybody who come into the stream thinking that this was Dark Souls. of killing a man weighing heavy even on your own damaged conscience not especially but i wonder how you remain so flippant about it hey i'm not here to murder anyone i'm just tagging along in search of my traitor <clears throat> do we have to kill him can't we just make him stop this nectar business i don't think he'd listen to us huh word in the taverns is that this high priest is a real shady character the abbey and the religion are popular now but three years ago, no one had heard of them. High Priest Gideon was the one who led the church through those dark days. But once Malachim became visible to the general public, and they learned how effective Malak arts were against demons, that all changed. Humans are such fools, only believing what they can see with their own eyes. And once the church had attained popular support, a nasty power struggle swept through the ranks. Many vied for the mantle of High Priest, charlatans, power-hungry converts, but they all faded away. They left the church? No, they all met their maker. Some from disease, others from accidents. And in the end, Gideon became high priest. Uh, he may be the head of the church, but the people clamor for Shepherd Artorius. That's got a sting. Either way, if we're to face him, he might have some tricks up his sleeve. We'll need to keep our eyes open. It doesn't matter who he is. We just do our job. Uh, but as I was saying before, I might jump into Battle Brothers. Uh, but just keep in mind, I'm very bad at, um, uh, losing his fun games that aren't Dwarf Fortress, and I, I might get a little bit mad at it. So just be warned. Um... I, I might I might develop the gamer rage. Especially in games where it's just like you have a, a a bunch of characters rather than like a couple of dwarves and they all just become icons on a screen in, in a big ant farm. That being said, Battle Brothers does look very cool. What's cannon fodder? Is, is that a, uh... Just play Battle Brothers like I'm playing Skaven in Total War? Got it. But I also feel like that kind of cheapens the experience with I'm just not, like, investing in my party. So, I, I'll, I'll, we'll have to see how it goes. Also, I've, uh... Something that I really have to start grounding myself in when I'm, like, doing singing or recording is, uh, S hisses. Just because, like, I don't know why, but, like, it bothers me when I do it. But, like, I've been listening closely to, like, the voice actors. It's just like, oh, yeah, they, oh, everyone does it. Oh, fuck, I'm, I'm being an idiot. Don't waste my time. Make sure 
Like a single dude on the flank with a spear can do hilarious work against the zombie horde. I've heard that. I've heard that the mechanics of the game are actually really funny. Uh, tomorrow's stream might be like late, like nine o'clock late, but it'll definitely be around. Unarmed? Hardly. These are deadly weapons. Huh. What'll it take to move it or die? KSP 2 is also coming out soon. Um, I'm a big fan of KSP. I might stream the original. But from what it's looking like, they're asking for like $50 for the game. And it's not feature complete yet. So I'm, I'm a bit torn just because as it stands right now, uh, KSP 1 has more content. You won't get any pity or compassion from me. But that being said, I, I love KSP. One of my one of my favorite franchises. One time was when I was in a when I was in college, I was playing KSP like on on one of like the the hallway desks that they have set up and my professor came up and it was just like, "Oh, what is that? Do you have to do you have to ca calculate all the things?" And I was just like, "No, but you do have to figure out like uh uh maneuvers, uh Burn time, ejection nodes, as all that stuff. Wait, no, not ejection, nodes, but like, like escape velocity, that sort of thing. And he didn't seem very convinced by my explanation, which is a shame. But uh, yeah, I've been playing KSP for a long time. Before I had a computer that could properly run it, even. Just having to navigate through a slideshow. Other stuff, equipment is salvaged based on how much HP the equipment has left, which is where daggers come into play, since so they can totally ignore armor and just stab people to death for a chance of stealing Don't waste my their time. armor post-battle. I mean, I appreciate the explanations. However, I'm going to forget this, and I, appreciate, I would appreciate the explanations of the game's mechanics better when I'm actually playing the game. I, it, it, it's just, I will forget. My my brain does not work in a very uh, convenient manner. It's, it, my brain is like a... It's kind of like a filing cabinet. Uh, excuse me. So it's like, if I receive information about something else, and it's not while I'm doing something specific, then the information is just like it it, it just get gets set to the side and never touched again. It it just gets lost. I guess that's the best way of putting it. I wish I had power like that. Now up this way. Wait. Where was the lever? Wait. Did that lower on one side, but not the other? Or did it swap the sides? Hmm. Oh no, okay, this, this turns it on. Those are some cheeky orbs. Ooh, another warp.
I have been working on something for like the next fortress for Dwarf Fortress though. And I'm 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 really excited to see how it turns out because I'm basically like doing a fort that gets abandoned over and over again until it's just like pretty much in ruins. Possibly full of uh like if we manage to do it, possibly get it full of zombies somehow. I think that might be very interesting. Like half of the... Fortress like being outside and the other one, uh, the rest of it being just a prison for a whole load of zombies. I think that'd be pretty cool, but I'm not sure how to go about it. Just because if I if I just keep uh, reclaiming the same fort, I feel like it, it, it feels cheap. It feels like it. Uh, oh, oh, cheaty. Come on, really? Looks like you want to die. Because, like, all the resources are there, and there's a bunch of stuff that the future dwarves can just use, like, by default. And it's just like, eh. It feels a little bit cheaty. Let's go! Yeah, this is a lot more fun now. I said to Otto. Maybe I hope. And I, I feel like. I feel like that's real sad, just because I should enjoy the combat, but having to do the same thing over and over constantly is is, is just a little bit tedious. Here's a teleport serpent. That's E two Villa Sa. Hmm. Did I miss something? If that leads... I wish these things lined up because now I'm really confused. I'm gonna have to run all the way back just to make sure I, I, I think I might need to go outside to get to that weird room we saw, but yeah, like that leads to there. How do I get to that little Oh, okay, I think I see it. Yeah, I just walked right past it. Oh, 
But yeah, I'm I'm a I'm a big fan of uh, Metal Gear Solid 5, and I can only imagine how good the uh, the originals are as well. I've heard they aged really well. Also, can you hear me over the fighting, or do I need to adjust the uh, audio settings? If you want to live, get out of my way. This recipe looks real. Scout ship settings. Okay, so this Don't get This should be a bit better. Just keeping the audio levels like two thirds of the uh Vo my voice. That's probably a better balance. But we're doing it live. I have no idea. Oh, there goes Velvet. Wait, did I? I'm pressing buttons, nothing's happening. Oh, I'm tabbed out. Uh oh Monkey! Monkey! Uh, not again. Where is it? Okay. Uh, wasted life bottle. Oh, come on. Oh, God. Thank you. 
All right. Unarmed. Ugh. These are deadly weapons. <laughs> what will it take to make you go all the way? Calcite fragment. Are you kidding me? After all that, that's all I get. You're shitting me. Uh. Further evidence that I am very bad at video games.